Yeah, they created a straw man in order to knock that straw man down. They pretended that Russia was about to invade Ukraine, and when it doesn't, they want to claim the credit for that. It's an old story, really, Rachel. That it is, and it is interesting to see the fact that Biden is at the center of all of this, because at the end of the day, we remember when Donald Trump was in office, there was such a push for him to be tough on Russia. And the way that they did it was by saying, well, Russia wanted Trump to win. So then Trump comes into office and he feels like he's really got to stand up to Russia. And now Biden has a version of that. But there's also this pressure on him to look tough. And, you know, the media really doesn't they don't want to talk about all of the U.S. failures in the Middle East anymore. Instead, now they're making this pivot towards China and Russia. And it is incredibly concerning when we look at the fact that this week, Congress passed their defense spending bill for 2022 to the tune of $768 billion. That's $25 billion more than Biden actually asked for and more than the Pentagon asked for. And yet, when you look at the fact that the U.S., says that it is ramping down its involvement in the Middle East, you really wonder, why are we adding to the defense budget? Why are we giving more money to Ukraine to ramp up tensions there? Why are we increasing U.S. involvement in the Indo-Pacific and increasing those tensions with China? I mean, what good is that doing? And why isn't there more talk about it at the end of the day?